So I opened up the door to let Jerry out. And this Polish rooster keeps coming up and uh, flexing on him like he's uh, <laughs> like he's getting charged. As soon as Jerry comes out, that rooster messes with him. Jerry just may uh, have to kick his bootay. Jerry doesn't realize that I opened the door for him so that he can come out, though. This will be the first... Is it the first time? This might be the first time that I'm just going to let Jerry just roam free. Before, I had him in the, the coop and the garden so that he could uh, hang out with the chickens and just roam. But uh, this might be the first time I'm letting him completely free to roam wherever he wants. I'm just curious. You guys know. Indy, Ash, no. <laughs> We're about to see. Does he figure out that he can come out or no? These two dogs. I'm telling you. This is what they do non-stop. All day. Every day. They can't just chill and relax. They've always got to be doing this. <coughs> oh. He's getting close to the door. Gonna come out. Looks like he's checking it out. I'm just hoping that he doesn't get out and then decide, hey, I don't know how to fly, I'm flying out of here. This weekend I gotta build a larger chicken coop than what I've got for these guys. They just got these ones that I bought off of Amazon. And then I built a makeshift one that's kind of falling apart. But uh, I want something, just in case we have a cold winter here in Ohio that's colder than normal or more snow than normal, I'm gonna build a larger coop. I'm gonna do is I've got uh, look at that back corner. I've got a four by four already, so I'm just gonna put another four by four over here. Ash, no, no, um, and then build it from there. Indy, leave the rooster alone. Indy, Indy, no. Come on, Jerry. Come on out. There you go. Come on out, buddy. You <laughs> have Mama out over here with the bunch of chicks well, at least I hear the chicks out so I hear them oh there they are in the doorway Kind of just feeding them and giving them water inside this enclosed coop here for right now. Um, I want to give them at least a week. <laughs> Mama just chased that that little chick out. I want to give them at least a week before I uh, open up the door and just let them come on out and roam around with the rest of the chickens. I'll do it today or tomorrow. When I'm out here building that bigger coop, maybe I'll let them let them out. <coughs> so 
something tells me Ash is gonna come running up on him. Or maybe not. I always see these turkeys that come running up to their owners when they see them. Not Jerry. Jerry can be a jerk sometimes. When they go to hold him, he'll just sit there and kick at me. I keep telling him, you better be nice or uh, he's going to be a special guest at Thanksgiving. Ash, no. Indy, no. Indy, no. These dogs, man, I'm telling you. Ash, no. I got Ash to be a dog to help protect the animals from coyotes and raccoons and other stuff. He's still a puppy, but... Ash, no! He's more mischievous than he is a guard dog. He's a... Andy, no! Ash is a great py Pyrenees, or Pyrenees, however you say it. And, uh, Indy, Indy, no. Indy! You're gonna go inside. Indy is, uh, we wanted to get a, uh, Bernese Mountain Dog. Um, but he is a Bernadoodle. There's an Amish family that, uh, was raising Bernese Mountain Dogs and crossing them with poodles. And the story was that he didn't come out the right colors, like a Bernese, and so the Amish didn't want him. I don't know if that's true. That's just what the rescue was that we got him from told us. So, never met the owners, but that's what they told us. So, well, it looks like Jerry is out and about, and hopefully he don't fly off or, or whatever. He's over there hanging out with the rooster and some of the other hens. So... We'll just have to uh, come back out and see how he's doing.